Hi, this is a quick presentation about using a UML diagram tool to make your object oriented design and then also export and create the actual PHP code behind it. So it's quite useful when you have a tool that does this. There are all obviously quite expensive commercial tools that do quite good jobs of this, but we'll use one today that's freely available and this one's called DIA. Now you can actually just search for this uh, online. If you type in DIA, it comes up in the first results. There is a newer Windows version, but we're using an older one today uh, just to make sure that the exporter works, which is uh, separately installed. So under NAT School, under the course SD2, you can actually download this executable, run it and install it on your system. I've already done that. And once you've done uh, the install, you should end up with basically a folder and the folder will look like this under your program files and a DIA folder. So there'll be this. Now under there, there's this XSLT folder. This folder is where your plugins go. Okay, and so if we go into this DIA XSLT folder, basically this is where we need to, in the next stage, actually download this uh, next part the exporter and so we click on this uh, we have to actually save this and rename the extension to zip uh, it's just a nat school problem and once we've called that zip we can then open it and what we want to do is then grab the contents of that and put it in this folder now what you might want to do before you do that is just rename the uh, current style sheets XML to edited or backup but once you've done that you should end up with uh, your folder looking pretty much like this where there's the PHP files there this extra folder and uh, the, your file listing should look similar to mine now once you've done that uh, you can pretty much then run DIA uh, if you don't know where the program is it's under the, the bin folder and you can just run the batch file or, or DIA itself might work so once you've done that, you can run it and you should then end up with this uh, window here, which is your basic uh, controls and uh, your palette of different shapes and so forth. Now you'll need to then go click a new. And uh, in this case, I'm just going to open up an old one. And here we have an example. So I've just got a basic diagram. I've got a location class. Now to actually create your own classes, you need to select from this to go down to the bottom. I uh, can't see on the screen, but uh, select UML. So it's appearing here and you'll see there's UML objects. Now here is a uh, UML class. So I can put this on here and click. Uh, if I double click that, then it comes up with the properties for the class. So I'll just add an inventory uh, to this and uh, under my inventory I might add a variable and I'll call this uh, you have to click the new button call this the number items and I'll make that an int for this example okay now once you've done that uh, you click OK and here we have number of items and integer now you can actually then also add functions so down here in the location you see i've got a number of different uh, variables which are you know properties of this location and then i've got uh, a couple of behaviors to do with this location so here you can see an object oriented approach i've then used things like uh, class inheritance here so you can see this uh, triangle points to the parent and so you can see we've got a goal class and that a location inherits from the goal class in this case uh, and so can a character and this is kind of a behavior where you know a location or a character uh, might have certain goals uh, met at those points so we, we did that and now the relationship here is the dotted one uh, dependency and here we've got a character uh, having a dependency on being at least at one location. Now, the next part, uh, assuming say we're at a point where we want to uh, export this and create our PHP classes, we can uh, again not use this menu here, but right click here. And firstly, you might want to save. So it's basically most of the things are done through the context menu. So we could firstly save uh, to a folder, and you might want to create a new folder to save it in. 
And once you've saved it, then there's this file export. Now when you select export, uh, you want to make sure you select this start code option at the very bottom uh, and then make sure that uh, you've got the right folder which should be the same folder you've just saved your diagram to. Now you might have to override it, it'll come up with these options and what you want to select here is not UML but UML classes extended because currently you'll notice that the PHP options are not enabled until we do this. So select UML classes extended and then from this list select PHP 5 and make sure you select it otherwise if you leave it set on C++ it won't work and then click OK. Now once you've done this you should then be able to go and browse the folder where you've saved your diagram and here you'll see uh, the class files so here's my diagram that I've saved and these are the actual class files it's just generated so the one we're probably most interested in uh, here is probably this uh, location class. So if we open up this location class and just see what's, uh, in, what it's generated for us, and uh, here you can see the location class, you can see the inheritance uh, done for goal, and it's also included the actual uh, PHP file required for that inheritance. And then you can see with inside that we've actually got the different properties we've defined uh, all set up for us. Now, if you've actually given descriptions, it'll actually input those comments as well automatically for you. And you can see here we've got the, the default values that I set for the class being put in for you. And then the actual functions here being defined there. And you notice there it's actually got the final keyword on that, so you might want to check options if you don't want this move north to be a final method uh, for this class, for instance. So that's pretty much it, and that uh, generates these classes, uh, and then you're ready to go on and uh, perform your implementation. And uh, that's pretty much it for the deer, and uh, I hope you uh, explore it and uh, have some success.